In the last video, I discussed that we need to obtain the hydrostatic draft to calculate the displacement because all the hydrostatic particulars are tabulated for hydrostatic draft. And this center of flotation is the point about which the ship trims. The draft at center of flotation is called hydrostatic draft. So I can mark here that draft at center of flotation is the hydrostatic draft. So we can see the ship's hydrostatic data is tabulated for hydrostatic draft and the hydrostatic draft is obtained by considering forward and aft draft measured at forward perpendicular and aft perpendicular. And also on a certain design trim with no hog or sag well i'll explain later what is hog and what is sag because we need to apply this correction as well so forward and aft draft may not be at perpendiculars simply because of the shape of the ship so we need to apply correction for position of draft marks so here suppose fp this is the forward perpendicular the draft mark may be located literally aft of this forward perpendicular. So as I said, the forward and aft draft marks may not be at perpendicular. Similarly, the amidship draft marks may not be exactly at the midpoint of LBP, that is length between perpendiculars. So usually this midship mark is occupied by load line marks like this. So this midship mark is occupied by plimsoll mark. So our objective is to correct the observed drafts to obtain drafts at forward perpendicular, aft perpendicular and midpoint of LBP. LBP is length between perpendicular. Now let's look at this diagram. Here this distance is A that is the forward draft marks are located at a distance A meter aft of forward perpendicular. This is the forward perpendicular. And if we look at this aft perpendicular, well these forward perpendicular and aft perpendicular, they are the reference lines and they have been defined separately. So here the draft mark is located or rather forward of aft perpendicular. Similarly, the length between forward perpendicular and aft perpendicular is called LBP and the midship of this is uh, this length and the midship mark is not exactly at this midpoint rather slightly forward. It can be aft also. Now suppose this is the water line WL. So we have this small triangle here. Say I will name this triangle A, B, and C and this is small triangle if we see we have this distance AB and what is AB actually it is trim so this is the forward draft at the draft mark and this is the aft draft at the draft mark so the difference between them is going to be this one only and this is called apparent trim apparent trim so if this angle is theta in this triangle a b and c if this angle is theta then we have this 10 theta is equal to apparent trim divided by lbm well this is well this ab is apparent trim and this BC is LBM that is length between marks and this one is the forward mark here and this one is the aft mark here so distance between them is LBM so uh, this LBM length between marks is LBP which is length between perpendicular minus A plus B so we can have a look here also suppose the total distance is uh, LBP this one so minus this 
and minus this. So this one is minus A and this one is minus B. So we get this one plus this is LBM. Now let us look at this picture carefully and here we see a very very small triangle here. Well, this triangle is having this side which means this is the correction to the forward draft. Similarly, we have this triangle. And in this triangle also, we know that this one is the correction, this side. And likewise, we have this small triangle. And here, this side is the correction to the draft. So we can say that correction by A, this one is the correction to the forward draft divided by A and also correction to the up draft, this is the correction to the up draft, let me mark here, by B or correction to the midship draft and that is divided by C because this distance is C is nothing but equal to upper end trim divided by LBM. Well, whether this triangle, this triangle or this triangle or this big triangle, they are all similar triangle. They are all similar triangle. So, we have this relationship that correction to forward draft divided by A and A is the distance of draft mark with forward perpendicular. Similarly, correction to draft aft divided by B which is uh, the distance of draft mark from the aft perpendicular. Similarly, correction to midship draft divided by C where C is the distance of draft mark from mid length. Now, let us look at these drafts, the forward, midships and aft. So forward draft is 5.1, port side and starboard is 5.30 meter, these drafts in meters by the way and this is the midship draft and this is aft draft. So first of all, so we take the mean, so this is port side and this is the starboard side, the mean of this is 5.20. And similarly, this is 5.70 and 5.74. The mean of this is 5.72. Similarly, this is 6.10 and 6.30. The mean is 6.20. We have just taken the mean and reduced these draft port and starboard side draft to the center line. So let's find the apparent trim. Apparent trim is the difference between forward draft and aft draft. So here the forward draft is 4.20 and aft is 6.20 so we have apparent trim 1 meter by stern. Now let's take these values A is 2 meter, B is 4 meter, C is 1 meter. We just take these values. So first let's find the correction. So correction to the forward draft F is F divided by A and A we have taken as 2 meter divided by apparent trim which is 1 divided by 100 the correction to forward draft is a 0 0.02 meter in this case and this correction needs to be subtracted from 5.20 to get the corrected draft as 5.18 well let me repeat here again the draft at the draft mark is more than the draft at the forward perpendicular the thumb rule is given by this. For the stern trim, the draft mark aft is a subtracted. So, if the trim is a stern and the draft mark is aft of the perpendicular, that means we need to subtract. So, we get this value, 5.18. Similarly, let's find the correction to aft draft. Well, correction to aft draft is going to be Correction to aft draft divided by B is equal to 1 by 100 and the B we have taken as 4 meter. So we get this value 0 0.04 meter. Now let's figure it out whether we need to add or subtract. So here 
if we see here carefully the draft mark this one is the draft mark and the draft at the draft mark is less than the draft at the half perpendicular so here the trim is a stern but the draft mark is forward so we need to add this correction and we get this value 0 0.04 here so the value we get is 6.24 meter similarly let's figure it out the correction to midship draft well the value of c is 1 correction to midship draft divided by 1 is equal to 1 by 100 so the value is 0 0.01 meter now let's figure it out whether to add or not so if we see it carefully this is the draft mark and this one is the midship so draft mark is forward than the mid length and that needs to be added that needs to be added so we get 5.73 well these are the corrected draft